Fort Wayne police have linked a suspect to another crime in the recent string of apartment robberies or robbery attempts. He was arrested January 22nd for an armed robbery at the Island Club apartment complex. And then yesterday, paperwork was filed charging him in another robbery that same night. News Channel 15's Adam Widener joins us live from the newsroom tonight. Adam, do police have any more suspects? Well, Heather, police think that suspect is the only one arrested right now. But I got some new information from police today. They think that that suspect is one in a group of four people they think are responsible for the majority of that crime spree. Many of them were very similar. Two apartment complexes, two armed robberies, one suspect arrested so far. Late last month, police arrested 20-year-old Devontae Hamlet for a January 10th robbery at the Island Club Apartments. Detectives say they found his fingerprints at another crime scene at Cambridge Square. That linked him directly to the scene. Court documents say Hamlet and an accomplice went into a Cambridge Square apartment the night of January 10th. They're said to have tied up three victims with zip ties, hit one in the head with a handgun, then began to leave with cell phones, electronics, and $600 in cash. But before they left, one of the victims is said to have freed himself, grabbed his handgun, and shot at Hamlet and his accomplice. Police say Hamlet soon showed up at a local hospital with gunshot wounds. The victim believed that he may have struck one of the perpetrators. Police think Hamlet was working with three other people in the majority of the crime spree and are trying to get the rest off the streets before they strike again. When you have... Um, career criminals, they will continue to victimize until you take them off the streets. And so you may remove one individual, and that will clear up several investigations. Now, police think these four suspects even took turns in different roles in these robberies. Officers told me that they have identified the rest of the three suspects in that group of four, and they're working to collect enough evidence before they make any arrests. We're live in the newsroom. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.